Hello, this is Zmeo from Flame Farm Studios, and this is kind of a huge week for me. Because this week is me first week. We've also got some sort of. Fam you know what? Maybe we can forget about that. So, you might be wondering why those spades there. Well, these are the five videos. From every video, one gets taken off. That shows that uh, it's kind of like a special uh, way of showing how many episodes are left. This is the first one. It's also episode day of Nostalgic Opinions. And what are we going to be doing today? The moderators. And yep, this, despite the fact that this episode, this... The nostalgic opinion show is supposed to show everyone that the world is divided. This is something we are hugely united on. We all hate the moderators. Right. Right, at first they weren't that much a big of a hassle back from the beginning of Mavis. But after the update with Scarver and imposed some strict rules, they uh, started being way too strict for their own good and just kind of ruined everything. Right, I do remember I joined like back on July, uh, July the 27th as BPM Ultra because that was basically the name I was originally going to go by on this channel which back then was called uh, BPM Entertainment. It's basically I would refer to now as a cold name, because that was how I referred to it before. It was supposed to be done on no uh, on New Year's Eve, but we'll do more details about that on this episode, the King, of them all. So, how did we manage to get to this point? Well, I do remember, right from uh, the, my experience on that site despite the fact that it was only like a few months but almost every single one of you has used Mevis not fully uh, at least there'll be just a few times or just even once but I bet you still had an account on it that's my guess I used it all the time it's basically the trade off back then for me and so, what, how was this like? It was kind of huge. Well, it was kind of a huge transition for me, and then suddenly, like, two months later, it was September, I kept getting a, a sign saying that the moderators took down my posts. Fortunately, I was not banned. October, I was still safe. November, days right before the end, I would probably talk about that from the king, but like, I, but like, they would always like just sometimes even take down posts for no reason, like there were just, like there were many many people who followed me on that Mavis, and they ended up having their accounts blocked, or I mean banned, because that was how it was back then, and it was just pure crazy. Right, there was this person from Germany, mostly just the drones, gets banned. And then, there was this uh, person I later faced off against on Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon, gets banned. It was just pure crazy, but... I don't really know why they would have managed to keep their job even days before the ending of Mavis where they just took literary rooms uh, like a lot of posts down right so final conclusion they are probably the worst type of human species you'll ever come across just Hopefully you would agree with me. So, you now that's basically the end of the video. You could subscribe. Not saying that you should, but 
you can. I would recommend it though. You could leave a like or maybe leave a dislike if you love the moderators, which I bet none of you did. You could leave a reply. You could call me bastard if you love the moderators, I don't care. And yeah, it's literally it for the video. But you know about the thing that I almost cut off at the and at the last moment? I'm about to talk about that. So, uh, if you're on Twitter and you follow me, let's I kind of bet that you don't because most of you wouldn't have a Twitter page. But, what? How does Dream has to get this? Uh, to talk about it? Well, I'm kind of like one of the main supporters from this campaign that's supposed to, that mainly supports this uh, Hideki Naganuma. Never heard of him, you should uh, definitely watch his, uh, listen to his music. The, the awesome, I almost lost the words to say since there's literally hardly any words to describe them. Like they're way more exciting than the most exciting words you could find. So, and it uh, like, Sega of Japan, you know, them, said about them from my all three Sega Divisions episode. Uh, you know how I said they don't really do that much, well they're kind of being the bane of our ass. This is the first time I say this, but modern Sega isn't really the problem because Sega of America, the good guys, are supporting him. And, so, what? What's the main importance of this when you already know that I was like this on Twitter? That is, like, I am being forced into doing some sort of uh, almost complete war with my game UK. Hope that doesn't happen. Hopefully something gets done because many other attempts have failed. You know what's in this? And i pretty sure you are. Don't don't worry, I'm trying to sort it all out. But it's, it's just got to be less divided from this. So, and hopefully you'll understand that, uh, that and uh, hopefully it doesn't really get to that point. Right. Sure, the best I could. It's done literally nothing. So, yeah, gonna have to end it there. Thought it said by the end, then. So. Bye.